What is nitrate film well? Nitrate film base was the first transparent flexible plasticized base commercially available, thanks to celluloid developments by John Carbutt, Hannibal Goodwin, and Eastman Kodak in the 1880s. Eastman was the first to manufacture this for public sale in 1889. Unfortunately, nitrate film also had the drawback that it was extremely flammable, being essentially the same chemically as gun cotton, nitrocellulose, and decomposed after several decades into a no less flammable gas, leaving the film sticky and goo like, and ultimately dust. 75% of films made from 1901 all the way up until 1951 are completely lost forever. Only 25% of films made from 1901 to 1951 exist, but are often in surviving copies of nitrate prints. Nitrate film was completely replaced with safety film in 1951 because it was so dangerous. Nobody wanted it in archives or collections, but it was highly flammable. Many animated shorts were printed on nitrate film, for example Snow White, and The Seven Dwarfs 1937 and Bambi 1942. One of the most sore after of lost films is London After Midnight 1927. Directed by Todd Browning. It was destroyed in the MGM Vault Fire in 1965. Along with many other silent films. There was a big loss when all of the original camera negatives for Tom and Jerry and Tex Avery cartoons were lost, as well, but there is surviving prints of those cartoons. Recently somebody had found more nitrate prints and 16mm copies of rare Tom and Jerry and Tex Avery shorts. So much of the copies of MGM cartoons exist in the original form, in fact 68% of films made by MGM are not lost. Many of the Warner Brothers cartoons in the original form are lost forever, and many other cartoon shorts only 20% exist. This is the Christian Film and Television Archive. Thanks for watching. God bless. May Jesus be with you.